Alright guys, uh, this is the fifth game. I am running out of idea which uh, opening should I use. Uh, so I will just play E3 plus 5. I haven't played this yet. Let's see how my student will respond to this. Uh, I could adjust my camera. Uh, she has yet to make her first move. Did I surprise her? <laughs> uh, she must be wondering why did uh, teacher Sim play this uh, elephant opening. She's having a headache right now. So, oh. Hmm, Canon 2 to 5 isn't correct. Because uh, it's better to play cannon at to five because you can later on play the three five cannon as the cannon at this found here can aim at the elephant. So if you play cannon two to five, uh, basically, if you play the five seven cannon, it's not as uh, threatening. And of course, I will proceed with my favorite uh, sandwich horse defense. And I believe this is when my student realized uh, she has made a very terrible judgment because uh, they always try their best to prevent me for, from playing this uh, sandwich horse defense. And the new, once I have this position, normally I can defeat my opponent easily. But we are still in the very early of the game. Let's see how this game will progress. Uh, she was supposed to play a chariot 9 plus 2. It's better if you go for a trap using the help of your cannon. If he plays like this, uh, basically my chariot is here, preventing the chariot from coming out. Then she has to rest another move, which is this. Uh, correct. So of course I will play cannon 2 minus 2. Then I can follow up with cannon 2 to 7. Another a huge advantage for red. Oh, should I attack this horse first? Yeah, why not? You see, it's so depressing, isn't it? I will force her to play e7 plus 9. Then, if I play cannon 2 to 7, I will allow the, the horse to come up. So maybe I'll play a visor 4 to 5 first. Yeah, I can do that. Or even or 7 plus 6 if I want. Okay, I will stick to my initial plan. Advisor 4 to 5 uh, to give way for my chariot to play uh, chariot 2 to 4 later on. Uh, let's see how she wants to 
develop this uh, very bad position I would say very very bad position for black but that doesn't mean I have already won um, I still have to play some aggressive moves and as you guys can see <coughs> so far only a cannon managed to get across if he plays uh, alright this move of course I, I have prepared for that so I'll play chariot uh, to d4 then follow up with this move cannon 3 to 7 to aim at the elephant again so this is uh, all the combination moves that I could come up with if he, if he plays a chariot 2 minus 1 to protect that elephant I will play a chariot 9 to 8 Another huge uh, advantage for red. Oh, plus three minus one. Uh, I'm surprised, but it doesn't matter. I'll still go for the trade. Right for the threat. So again, I have caused uh, black to uh, wasted a lot of moves for this uh, chariot. Do you guys still remember where it is in the first place? Uh, it, she played uh, chariot 1 to 2, then chariot 2 to 1, then now chariot 2 plus 8, and finally it's gone. So after the threat, uh, I would. It's uh, obvious that uh, Red has a lot of advantage, and now he she plays a uh, chariot. Uh, what's this? At plus five, I will follow up with this cannon seven to six. Do you guys know the reason why I play this move? Would you like to give it a guess? So this is uh, actually to prevent uh, black from playing a chariot at 2-7 because I can play cannon 6, the front cannon. This is the hind cannon, the, the cannon behind. So I can play cannon, front cannon minus 3 uh, to capture the chariot. If she carelessly attacks my uh, pawn on the third foul. So I like to create a lot of uh, booby traps for my opponent and there, one of the opening that allow me to do so is this uh, sandwich force defense that's why I love it so much and guys as you can see uh, right now I have a uh, a lot of game type of attacks. I'm sorry I didn't put on my microphone just now. Uh, was my voice loud enough? I'm not too sure because the mic was a bit too far just now. I apologize for that. <laughs> what? She still plays this move although she knows I can capture her chariot. That's a bit too careless. And with the Charak gone, this should be a very easy game for Red because uh, Charak in Sanji is the most important attacker. It has uh, 9 points, the value of it is uh, 9 points, uh, cannon is uh, 4.5, meaning that 2 cannons is uh, equivalent to 1 Chariot, whereas a uh, horse is only 4 points.
Church. All right, and that's the only option that she can go for. Uh, of course, uh, she can also play chair, uh, P7 plus 1. But regardless of uh, which option she goes for, I am in a very, very huge advantage. And now I have uh, 3 pieces left, uh, so, does, uh, so does she, but we can see that I have chariot, she doesn't. And this is a sure lose for black. Unless I make a very careless mistake, but that's uh, quite unlikely to happen. Uh, the reason being, I am in a very comfortable position right now, and uh, right, I'll take it. Or I can play this move first. Uh, no. This should be the easiest move uh, for red. And now it is my responsibility to finish the game uh, at the soonest. Uh, never try to fool around with your opponent because if you think that you are winning for sure, you play very carelessly, something might happen, right? So you have to play as uh, aggressively as you can think of. And now I am pushing my pawn forward, uh, maybe another one, to continue to give a lot of pressure for her. There are too many uh, uh, variations right now. So guys, as you can see here, once I have played a P7 plus 1, the horse here is uh, basically rendered useless because uh, the pawn over at this position will uh, disallow the horse to move forward anymore. It's uh, very difficult for her to come out from this position. For example, she needs to play something like e3 plus 1, then horse 1 minus 3, horse 3 minus, uh, plus 4 to come up from there. But with my chariot and my pawn here, uh, that's not likely to happen. And if I want to be, play more aggressively, I can always play p5 plus 1, or I can take the pawn right now. Uh, she can just resign actually, because uh, there's nothing much she can do right now. And I have a lot, a lot of uh, game time remaining, as good as new. So there's uh, nothing wrong for Black to resign right now. But it seems like she wants to continue playing. And uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> Hmm. Right. I, I think she is uh, asking me to finish her quickly. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm a bit too cruel right now. Come on, just resign. I promise you I wouldn't laugh at you. Yeah, there's nothing much you can do right now. Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching. This is uh, game 5 and now I will proceed with game 6. Okay, thank you guys for watching.